hello people we wanted to give a better voice quality so we got a new mic today let's see how the videos uh, go from now this question alcoholic liver disease has been asked seven times so let us look at all the details about alcoholic liver disease now it is a type of cirrhosis under cirrhosis also you will get alcoholic liver disease so alcoholic disease actually there are three sequential stages that is why they have written cirrhosis here three sequential stages in alcoholic liver disease so you have the alcoholic steatosis that's fatty liver hepatitis and cirrhosis okay so this is the sequential stages in alcoholic liver disease so what are the sequential stages steatosis hepatitis cirrhosis okay so this is the sequence in alcoholic liver disease got it right sequential stage now how do you define cirrhosis let us look at the definition of cirrhosis cirrhosis is diffuse liver disease characterized by effacement of normal lobar architecture formation of nodules separated by fibrous septa and alternate areas of hepatocellular necrosis and regenerative nodules what a huge definition let us just remember the normal lobar architecture is gone it's effaced there are nodules which are formed they are separated by fibrous septa there are alternate areas of necrosis and nodules interesting it's easy or not what i told you just now cirrhosis definition you got okay so normal lobar architecture is gone nodules have come in that place there are fibrous separate septa there is alternate areas of necrosis and nodules okay necrosis and regenerative nodules fine so it based on etiology you have major forms of cirrhosis you have alcoholic cirrhosis post necrotic cirrhosis biliary cirrhosis and hemochromatosis okay uh, being a cause of the cirrhosis cirrhosis in hemochromatosis so we are looking at in this case we are only looking at alcoholic liver disease and the cirrhosis that alcohol causes so alcoholic cirrhosis evolves through the three uh, the sequential stage i told you steatosis that is fatty liver hepatitis that is inflammation of the liver and lastly you will get what cirrhosis over so that is what we are going to look at in this video shall we start <clears throat> the first thing they want us to know is ethanol metabolism okay so basically there is a nice diagram here which will make it easy and as we don't have so much time let us just look at this diagram and try to understand ethanol ethyl alcohol <clears throat> alcohol dehydrogenase will convert it into aldehyde that is acetaldehyde in this case now acetaldehyde will become acetate who will convert acetaldehyde aldehyde dehydrogenase so you have alcohol dehydrogenase you have aldehyde dehydrogenase now you have acetate now acetate will become acetyl coa acetyl coa will become water and carbon dioxide acetate is nothing but acetic acid isn't it just find out google and tell me so acetate is nothing but ch3coo minus so that h1 is missing that's all from acetic acid okay that becomes acetyl coa it is a common metabolite right between carbohydrates proteins fats you remember all those days when you have studied this in metabolism etc did you understand this diagram do you want me to explain it more alcohol dehydrogenase here see all this you would have written pharmacology also right so nothing new for you people alcohol dehydrogenase aldehyde dehydrogenase alcohol becomes aldehyde aldehyde becomes acid acid becomes carbon dioxide pretty simple see guys <clears throat> this much uh, brief i am telling you 
if you want you just go into details of this okay as of now let me skip to the main questions in this topic the main questions in this topic are etiology pathogenesis okay main thing they will ask you is etiology pathogenesis okay etio pathogenesis they've asked morphology also we will try to look at okay shall we go into the etiology do you want me to cover it in the next video let us revise what we have seen in this video so far what is cirrhosis effacement of the normal lobar sorry lobular architecture of the liver nodules get formed and these nodules are separated by fibrous septa there will be alternating necrosis and nodules major etiological forms of uh, cirrhosis because of etiological uh, reasons and you can say alcoholic post necrotic biliary and in hemochromatosis in alcoholic cirrhosis there are uh, preceding sequential stages first there will be steatosis steatosis sorry steatosis that is fatty liver hepatitis then only comes cirrhosis cirrhosis will be the last stage advanced cases of cirrhosis develop portal hypertension remember portal hypertension one of the main cause is cirrhosis of liver okay then what else we saw in this video we saw the metabolism of ethanol in liver alcohol dehydrogenase aldehyde dehydrogenase etc 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 remember the aldehyde is toxic one more point we found guys it is micronodular okay in alcoholic cirrhosis it is micronodular uniform nodularity micronodular alcohol alcoholic liver disease understood wait let us bring back that girl who will tell nicely alcoholic liver disease steatosis hepatitis cirrhosis micronodular cirrhosis Okay, good. So, hope you understood everything. Let's uh, meet in the next video. Tada! Bye-bye.